What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to resize images with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at resizing images, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions lately about resizing images and images in Kinter are pretty easy. We've done this a lot of times in the past, but we've never actually resized one before. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So first off, we need the pill library. Now, sometimes when we do images, we use pill at pillow. Sometimes we don't. This time we absolutely have to use it because we're going to be resizing our images with Pillow. So if you haven't installed that yet, head over to your terminal and it's just pip install capital P-I-L-L-O-W. And some people have troubles installing this. If you get any kind of errors, if this doesn't work, you can Google the error and hopefully find, uh, find the solution. So I've already installed it, so it, you know it's not installing. But if you haven't installed it yet, it will install on your screen. So OK. That's done. Now we need to import that. So let's go from capital P, capital I, capital L. Now I know we just pip installed pillow, but we reference it as PIL. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just the way it is. So import and then image TK. Now this is capital I and image, capital T and T, <laughs> uh, lowercase k. Sometimes people accidentally put a, a capital K there and that's wrong. It's lowercase. And we also want to import image. And image is actually what we're going to be using to resize our image. So all right, let's come down here. So normally when we would create an image, we would just define it. So let's go my, let's call this my pick. And this is an image tk.photo image. And then the file equals, and we've got this in images, the directory, and let's use my picture aspen.png. Now this is a relative path. You could use the actual path. You could go lowercase c. I think we're in GUI slash images slash Aspen. Uh, but since we're saving this resize.py file in our GUI directory, we don't have to define c GUI if we don't want to. And then, you know, we would create a label. So let's go my label equals a label. And it's in root. And the image equals my underscore pick. And then we would just my label dot pack this onto the screen and let's give this a pad y of 20 just to push it down a little bit so go ahead and save this and head back over to our git bash terminal and let's run this guy and you just get you know the picture right so me and aspen on the couch being crazy now this is a pretty big image this is actually a 500 by 375 pixel image right so how, what do we do if we want to resize that so you might be thinking you could just kind of head over to your label and give this a height equals, uh, let's say 300 and a width equals 225. Now, normally the image size is, what did I say, 500 by 375. So we sort of proportionally scale this down. And You'd be on the right track, sort of, if you thought this would work, but this is not going to work. And we can actually run this and see what happens. You can see the label gets resized, right? But the image inside doesn't. So we need to actually resize the image, like actually change the image size. We're not just defining it to be smaller. We're actually going to create a new image that is smaller, sort of, right? So how do we do that? Well, first, let's define our pick again. And we're going to use image.open. We need to open the image before we can resize it. So we'll open it. And I'm just going to copy this. All right. So then uh, let's go open image. Then we want to resize image. And to resize this, let's create a new variable. I'm call it, gonna call it resized so we can keep track of it. And that's just my underscore pick and then dot resize. And then we can pass in uh, what we wanna resize it to. So what do we say? 300 or 300 by uh, 225. 
And then we also need to go image dot a n t i a l i a s anti alias, and that just makes sure there's no sort of rugged, hard borders around it, right? So you know, you notice this image here is the same as this image here, and uh, this image here is also the same as this image here. So we're opening it using image here, and then resizing it using image, right? So now once it's resized, we can sort of uh, redefine it again, and so let's get rid of this. And let's say a new pick, I guess, equals, and this is going to be image tk dot photo image. And then what is it going to be resized? So we're just passing our resized image into this. And now now a new pick is what we're looking at. Now we get rid of this height and width thing. We don't need that. Uh, but we do need to change this from my pick to new pick. So this is our label, right? And now we're passing in new pick, which is this photo image of the resized pick, which is what we resized right here, which was originally our opened my pick. All right, <laughs> so it makes sense. So let's save this and run it. And you can see now, boom, 300 by 225. It's nice and smaller. It's proportional, right? It's, it's not out of aspect ratio or anything like that. Now we can get crazy with this, right? We could do anything we want. We could change this from uh, 300 to 100 by 225. Now this will distort it to all heck, but uh, you can see what you can actually do. You're like, oh, it's all distorted and crazy, but I don't know, maybe that's what you want. Uh, so it's a good idea to resize them in the same aspect ratio that your image already is. And if you don't know what aspect ratio is, uh, I'm not going to get into that in this video because that's more you know graphic design. But you know the aspect ratio is. Uh, let's say 500 by 375. So, you know, if we want to, for instance, take, for instance, take this in half, we want it half the size, it would take half of 500, which is 250, and then half of 375, which is uh, 188, basically, and that would, that would keep the same aspect ratio, right? So if we wanted to actually look at that, it'd be 250 by 188. If we save this, run it again, let's close the old one, run it again. You know, it's now it's half as big as it was, and the same aspect ratio has been maintained. So that's how you resize images in Kinter. It's kind of convoluted and it's not the easiest thing. You know, with HTML on a website, if we want to resize an, images, an image, you just give the image tag a different height and width, and the browser will resize it automatically. It would be nice if Kinter did that too, but it doesn't. We have to actually resize the picture using Pill or Pillow, and uh, then use that new resized image and in, instead of the old one. So uh, not too bad, a little convoluted, but you know, just a few lines of code. So it's not so bad. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps out the channel, and I really appreciate it. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So I pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.